I just wanted to say since my friend raised the issue, all the media vans were outside my room. So I therefore said that we have nothing to hide, please come. So I told Dinesh Bhai, we are going to have a meeting. And when we came, I think some of you slipped, we also slipped because the cameras come onto your face. That's why I said, please call them. It's good to always talk to you and have an interaction. Uh, PCC President Shri B.K. Shivkumarji, Chief Minister Shri Siddharamaya Ji, our General Secretary Organization K.C. Venugopalji, and myself today had a detailed meeting on the preparation of the, for the ensuing parliament elections. Karnataka is at the center point of Congress Party's strategy for parliament elections. We believe and both Chief Minister and PCC President have assured the party that they are going to give, that people of Karnataka are going to bless with a 20 plus number in the Lok Sabha polls. We in fact hope to completely sweep the polls and raise the number to about 25 plus seats. And the process of identifying the parliamentary candidates must begin without any delay. I am myself going to start touring uh, different parliamentary constituencies after the three, after the five state polls that are going to get concluded by end of this month. We definitely hope that the Congress guarantees which have been decisively implemented and are resolved fulfilled to people of Karnataka, that will ensure victory of the Congress party in the Lok Sabha polls. We have therefore chosen today's day which is the Karnataka Rajo Utsav. And my best wishes to each one of the fellow Kannadigas on this auspicious day when the state has again resolved to further march onwards on the path of progress and prosperity. We have requested PCC President, we have requested Honorable Chief Minister, to also use this intergenum period of 15 days to identify the set of candidates for the ensuing parliament polls. If possible, call and meet all the district legislators parliament from the respective parliament constituencies, the district bodies of the organization, whether it is district and block congress committees, whether it is the frontal organization or other prominent leaders and have an internal discussion as to who all can be the possible parliament candidates so that accordingly a public opinion can then be taken vis-a-vis -vis them. Both of them have assured that with the blessings of people of Karnataka, Congress party will give the highest number, 20 plus for sure, 25 plus they will make an effort in the ensuing Lok Sabha polls and they will keep the Congress flag flying like it happened in the assembly polls despite all the naysayers and despite everybody who was skeptical of a Congress victory. We also briefly reviewed, secondly, we also briefly reviewed the Congress Guarantee Program and as to how the Congress guarantees are getting implemented on the ground. They have pointed out that regular audit is going on and wherever there is a deficiency, the concerned minister and ministry are addressing those issues. So that maximum beneficiaries are covered, particularly belonging to SC, ST, 
OBC, minorities, women and youth. And we will continue to ensure and constantly monitor implementation of the Congress guarantees. 